Hi everyone, I'm Alex, from Appery.io. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can conveniently and efficiently develop a mobile or web application on the Appery platform, complete with ChatGPT support. You're likely already familiar with what ChatGPT is, so I won't delve into its explanation. Instead, I'd like to direct your attention towards its technical aspects. Integrating it is very easy, there is already a pre-designed template available, and all we have to do is select it and create an application. Our application is now ready. Let's open it. If you are new to working, allow me to inform you that the structure of your project is visible on the left side of the screen. In the Pages folder, you can access all the screens that make up our application. There are three screens in total, the Settings screen, the Chat screen, and the Speech Recognition screen. Next, let's test the application and observe its functionality. Upon opening the first screen, we have the ability to adjust various settings. For the time being, we'll leave these settings as their default values. To properly utilize the system, the only requirement is to provide the API key. If you are unaware of where to obtain it, please click on the link provided. Since I already had an account, I promptly proceeded to the key generation page. However, if you do not have an account, you will need to undergo a simple registration process. After creating a new key, we can simply copy and paste it into the API key field and click on Start. Now, let's pose a question to the chatbot, such as, what is his name? The response may not be particularly impressive, but our main objective was to perform the technical portion. In addition to manual input, we can also utilize the speech recognition engine. Let's try it out by asking what weather is in London. Furthermore, we can also enable synthetic speech generation. Let's navigate back to the previous page and explore the other available settings. The first parameter we encounter is creativity, which determines the level of uniqueness in ChatGPT's responses. Maximum word limit for the response, known as max token. The next parameter, which is much more interesting, is the context. By default, it is disabled, but let's enable it. Once enabled, we can set the context of our conversation. For example, let's say we create a chatbot for a clinic that treats animals. We can provide ChatGPT with information about the clinic's opening hours, services offered, and more, to give it context. After setting the context, we can press the Start button and ask a question, such as, My cat has a problem. ChatGPT perfectly understands the conversation's context and provides the relevant information. The last parameter is the chat history which define the number of last words that can be saved. It's not a good idea to show the settings page at the beginning of the application, we can open the routing and indicate that the first page will be a chat. Then, in a modal and storage, we can specify the initial chat settings, including the API key and conversation context. Once we've tested and verified our chatbot, we can add more screens, such as an informational page about the clinic. We can then export the application as an Android or iOS app or publish it as a web application to insert it into an existing site. To publish the app, we need to exit the editor and publish it on a domain, which could be our own or the Appery domain. Since a few minutes have passed, our application has already been successfully published. We can confirm this by returning to the previous page and checking the domain name on which our application was published. Now, let's say we have a website and we want to incorporate ChatGPT support into it. The standard integration involves placing an icon at the bottom right of the website that, when clicked, opens the chat. To achieve this, we first need to open the ChatGPT app documentation, which is very helpful. We should scroll down to the bottom of the page to find the JavaScript code that needs to be added to our site. After copying the code, we can open a text editor and paste it, ensuring that we specify the domain on which our chat was published. The script has other settings, but their meanings are likely to be clear. If not, the documentation should be consulted. After updating our website, we should see the icon at the bottom right. 
Clicking on it will enable us to request help from ChatGPT, who will respond and continue the conversation with us. Of course, integrating ChatGPT into an existing business or product would require much more time and effort. Our main goal was simply to demonstrate how this could be done easily and quickly. Within a few minutes, we have learned how to integrate ChatGPT into a website or mobile application. That concludes our video. Thank you very much for watching it until the end. If you enjoyed it, please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you all.